Hey, it is Sunday, June 26th. Um, last time I threw a spot on there was about the Roe versus Wade overturn. And I think all I did was just gripe and complain. Uh, I am, however, going to be st state. I, I think I, I stated the rest of the, uh, the same old, same old about a religious level. How it, nobody has any right to talk. Um, here's the thing. Um, <clears throat> this weekend involves two subjects, which is um, the gay pride and Roe versus Wade. Now, abortion has now been declared illegal. And um, a lot of um, people who are in favor of that claim that uh, in the past, uh, unhealthy and, and, and uh, women that were in danger of losing their lives and stuff used to go to them. And now that this is done and all this other stuff, it's, it's going to be common sense that uh, those that needed to save their lives are, are going to still be able to get an abortion but no more uh, healthy babies are going to be killed anymore and all this stuff. Here's the thing, though. One of the things that I brought up is that um, we don't have as many healthy babies being killed and all this other stuff because women wouldn't be going to abortion clinics if they were giving birth to healthy babies. If the women were healthy and they were giving birth to healthy babies, no woman goes to those things. Uh, um, just for the halibut, you know, uh, just like nobody goes to a doctor for anything unless they want something, uh, uh, taken care of, unless they are sick, unless they are unhealthy. So for, for the, um, the people that are saying that, the, that, that healthy babies being killed and stuff, this, there's been a stop put to it. Well, they're wrong. Um, Technically, healthy babies are not being sent over there to be killed. Healthy women don't go to those things to kill the babies. When they're healthy, they're actually staying strong, healthy, and, and giving birth to healthy kids. They wouldn't be, the abortion is there because they wouldn't be there if they were healthy. The abortion law is there. The help with Roe, through Roe versus Wade is there because. Uh, unhealthy conditions have been done. So this whole mentality of saving lives, and uh, and that only uh, and that no more um, no more healthy babies are going to be killed, needlessly, senselessly killed. You know, it's wrong. It's wrong to think that way. It is very incorrect, and uh, it it really needs to be put to stop. Um, again, this is a small minority of people. Who just happened to weasel themselves into power to overturn Roe versus Wade, um, which is just another reason for us to keep on calling them on this, on how wrong they are, on how incorrect they are, on how misled they are, if not misleading, um, concerning this subject. They're big morons for thinking along those lines. As I've stated before, every single human being still has collected a total of 14% plastics in their body, okay? In some form or another, we have got that going in our system now. And it's made us very unhealthy. A lot of the foods that we eat uh, uh, contain those preservatives that are that are killing us. They're causing diabetes. They're causing cancer. They're giving us all sorts of problems. You know? So to think the woman is completely exempt from that when she gets pregnant and is doing nothing but thinking about homicidal thoughts um, uh, to, you know, that, that makes her go to an abortion clinic, that's just downright idiotic. It's stupid, it's idiotic, and it, 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 it's wrong. It's just plain wrong. And uh, it needs to be stopped. It needs to be stopped uh, tremendously. Um, one of the things that, that people feel, certain people feel, is 
once the the Roe versus Wade is now illegal, then comes uh, prophylactics and and birth control, and along with birth control comes families. Only certain types of people can get families, and most of the time it's going to exclude the gay community, which this month was all about gay pride and Juneteenth, you know, anti-racist, anti-prejudice, anti-discrimination, not just to blacks, but to all colors, not just to women, but uh, women and men who happen to be uh, sexual preferenced. Uh, and so the gay rights uh, now uh, have, have, you know, expressed, the gay people have expressed their their feelings towards Roe versus Wade. They feel like they're the ones that are going to be next. Um, and I honestly believe it. I think that they're, they're targeting now here in San Antonio. They were not targeted by hate groups like the way it was over in, uh, I think it was Seattle. You know, or wherever that, that one place was where the guys in the khakis jumped up in the U-Haul. And one of the main reasons why I can I can see and understand why nobody bothered the, the gays here in San Antonio is because it was a hundred degree weather and it was just incredibly hot. I mean it was ninety by noon. It was ninety one by noon. And um as a rideshare driver, I would occasionally go down to the gay festival gay pride festival uh hope because like it, from uh 2017 to 2019 my first three years as a driver gay pride festival was was the shit i mean it was the greatest you know it was going on for like seven hours only and then uh uh the the actual festival then the partying went on into the night and it, even if i didn't stay awake that late to work into the night I still roughed. The, I still made the about. Um, I still made about two hundred bucks within a five-hour time span. You know, it was great picking up people, dropping them off, picking up people from over there, dropping them off over here to the to the Gay Pride Festival. You know, I've never actually enjoyed it, but I sure as hell enjoyed working on those days. I made the two easiest two hundred bucks within a five hundred uh, within a five-hour time span. And that's not including any other times when I started early in the morning or late in the afternoon when I, I closed my night late in, late in the evening, you know, because not in, not every year I was actually there in from beginning to end. I wasn't there from beginning to end at all. I was either waking up early in the morning to uh, to join everybody and, and, and transport them throughout the daytime. And then the following year was in the night <coughs> was in the nighttime till closing time. And then the year after that was just midday. Uh, this year was midday. And oh my God, it was horrible. It was actually horrible. Not that there was anything inappropriate going on or nothing. There was no, See, that's the thing. There was nothing going on at the Gay Pride Festival. Okay? Uh, the Gay Pride Festival here in San Antonio is uh, one of the city parks. It's fenced off. And... Um, it's actually a two-part uh, park with a street that goes through it. You know, traffic continues all that. However, that street was closed off along with the park and maybe a couple of blocks more uh, down the way where businesses were. Um, <coughs> gay businesses, gay-run businesses, okay? And those were all closed off. And and everybody was down there, and there was a whole mess of canopies around the fence line, with each and every booth like one selling flags, and another selling wigs, and another selling glitter stuff, makeup, I guess, um, where you can buy a tutu and all this other stuff, you know. Um, and I'm sure there was food, um, but no matter what. Uh, no matter what was there, everybody was huddled under a canopy of some sort, you know. They're huddled underneath all the canopies. Now, there's two trees, one on each park, that provided a lot of shade. And nobody was moving out from underneath the shade. Everybody was either under a canopy or underneath the tree, uh, shade tree, uh, tree shade. And, um, and they were, you know, just 
they were staying there. They were all settled, and it, it was, looked a lot more like what would be a, a, a cocktail party or a lounge get together. There was really nothing festival, and, and, and to top it all off, like there was a stage, sure, over to one side, but no bands were playing at the time, and there was like a, a, a axe throwing thing on a trailer with three targets side uh, side by side, and one of the one of the trailer, you know, it was surrounded by a cage, except for that one side where that was that was uh, you know facing the uh, that let you face the targets up there, and nobody was throwing anything because it was out in the sun. And nobody was nobody was throwing an X. Nobody was really doing anything. It was just really sad. And then I looked on the news this morning, and it turns out there was only one guy, uh, one protester, with the Jesus loves you, and God hates sinners, all about both on one side. He had to flip it in order for you to see the other one that said God hates sinners, and then he flip it back and says Jesus loves you. There was one guy out there, and in a way it makes sense. It was just too damn hot. It was too damn hot. There was nobody paying attention to him because they were all trying to stay cool. You know? I got a funny feeling that that was the only guy there that was that was there because the other guys with the guns and stuff, uh, uh, you know, parked their car, started walking towards the, the event and, and, and got very hot and irritable and sweaty and drenched in sweat and just decided to turn around and go back home. You know, it was just miserably hot out there yesterday. You know, we didn't hear anything about those uh, those hate groups in the khaki pants loading up into a U-Haul. Why? I don't know, but my best guess is that the driver pulled up to the site, went to the back of the U-Haul, opened up the door, saw that they were cooked, closed the door, jumped back into the vehicle and drove off. You know, that's my best guess. That's my best guess why there was no <laughs> hate group visiting, uh, visiting to try to terrorize the gays there. It was just, it was just miserable. And, um, you know, I mean, it was, it was bad. I didn't even make any money. I didn't make any money. I made more money transporting, taking everybody to work and, uh, and well, yeah, to work more than likely to work and, and, you know, no doctor's visits. Nobody was visiting a doctor. Nobody was getting together with other friends to, to party. Uh, nobody was getting together for the barbecues and the grills. And nobody was getting together. You know, I mean, I took people more to the airport than I did anywhere else. Uh, it was just really, really miserable. Now, and I, and I don't mean to come down on the gays uh, this way. I really don't mean to. However... Um, the gays have themselves to blame for this, okay? If you're going to throw a festival, throw a festival, you know? Close off one side where you can set up a carnival, you know? Even if it's just a Ferris wheel and that one that goes up and down and zoom, 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 and goes back up and then drops and then goes back up and drops again, you know? Or that slingshot one, you know, the one on the YouTube where they got all the girls and they're getting slingshot and their 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 thing flies open and you can see you know you can see quite a bit of cleavage and you know and they're all screaming you know th those are fun to watch so i can only imagine with those many girls on there that they're fun to ride you know um you know put an actual carnival over there don't just put a bunch of canopies and 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 you know and and that's it you know <laughs> you know Put a carnival, set up the set up a fairgrounds area, you know, like like put up a balloon wall where people could throw some darts and see if they could win a prize, you know. Put a put a ring toss somewhere over there where everybody throws the rings to try on the bottles to try to see if they can land one on there to get one of those big stuffed animals, you know. Do one of those ring the bell, swing the hammer to ring the bell things, you know. Put something up there for the kids. You know, shoot, man, here in San Antonio, the Big Red Barbacoa Festival had a carnival and it was only four little kids. It was those little Ferris, those little mega rides that, that what we call the zipper, but only it didn't tumble and toss and roll over and stuff like that as it was going up and down. It was just this cute little uh, uh, Ferris wheel ride that went actually vertically up instead of around and around, you know. 
And that was it. But the kids loved it. You know, there was a couple of bouncy castles over to one side and, and the kids were, it was great. At the Big Red Barbacoa Fest, Barbacoa, for those of you who are out of the um, Mexican culture, Barbacoa is the meat, uh, the cheek off the off the cow's head, the meat of the cow's head. Uh, in in the more hardcore days, you would get the eyeballs, the tongue, well, not the tongue, the tongue was always sold separately. But you'd get like the nasal passages, the eyes, the brains, um, the ears. Uh, it would get all shredded, all into thin, uh, thin meat and everything like that. And it was—it's actually pretty good. You put it in a taco, uh, you sprinkle a little salt, you put some uh, chile or some, uh, you know, uh, uh, pico de gallo, which is a, another form of chile, um, and you put some avocado on there, and you squeeze some lemon or lime, whatever, you know. And you ate it, and it was this greasy, salty, vegetable-y, uh, easy-to-swallow thing all in a tortilla. And it was just this terrifically tasting uh, meal. Uh, and, you, and you drank it down with big red soda pop, which kind of tastes like bubble gum in the form of soda. Um, it's, it's a really tasty, uh, bubbly uh, drink. And uh, you combine that with the, uh, with the hardcore, greasy, make-your-heart-rate, salty vegetable chili uh spiced and an avocate uh avocado uh taco you know now we have here in san antonio uh starting since i think it was 2016 or 17 i can't re i think it was 2016 when we started to make this uh an actual festival uh here in san antonio a big red it was something that's usually just a sunday treat you know, after church, you get yourself some barbacoa and, uh, and and some, you know, all the ingredients that go with it and some big red. Uh, but one, one every year from as far back as 2016, we've had a, uh, a festival, barbacoa big red festival, two, three stages of performers going on all at once uh, up until the headliner uh, at, the, at the closing of the festival. Um, and a carnival and a promotional. One year it was uh, our grocery store. It's called HEB. Uh, they presented a funnel cake with that was big red flavored funnel cake. It was big red flavored icing. Uh, Krispy Kremes did a promotion of big red flavored donuts. Uh, it was great, you know. And then you go to the gay festival, gay pride festival, where none of that stuff is. And again, it's just this this hot, humid day where everybody is sitting comfortable and don't get me wrong it's cool it was cool to see it was cool to see uh all the genders and all the sex preferences and all the transgenders it was cool to see them all lounging around and sitting back and relaxing it's almost like a family barbecue so to say which for the record it probably would have been better if there was barbecue um but it was it was uh, it was really cool to see but it wasn't a festival it didn't have you know, a carnival. I didn't have the uh, the that. It had only one stage. There was no, there were no performers and stuff. I mean, I think I saw a wrestling ring, which meant these actors, these athletic entertainment actors, doing a a show, which I guess was okay. But given seeing as I was a hundred degrees outside, you know, you would have thought there would have been a lot more of an appreciation for that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it was only one stage. Nobody was on until five or six o'clock or something like that. Um, there was a couple of things to do, but mostly just to sit around in a shady area and, 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 and chit chat, which again, don't get me wrong. It was nice to see, but it, it would have been better if there was something, you know, uh, a lot more of an attraction for everybody to come see, to come and see the, uh, um, the festival. It really needs to spruce their stuff up. I think I saw uh, one food booth with chicken leg. I think I saw one booth with that sold turkey legs, which you gotta have. You gotta have that turkey leg stand. You gotta have that chicken on a stick stand. Um, you gotta have a taco. You gotta have at least one Chinese food uh, food truck, like they do at the rodeo here in Texas rodeo. We make room for. For, and don't get me wrong. I mean, Texas Rodeo has 
you know, a couple of hundred years head start to make themselves a big attraction. You know, there's a Chinese food truck at, at the Texas Rodeo. There's a lobster plate food truck. And I forgot what it's called. Uh, New England something. Uh, there's a Greek food truck. There's this truck. There's that truck. There's a whole mess of trucks with some taco trucks, you know, at, at the um, at the rodeo, at the even at the Texas barbecue cook-off and the chili cook-off. There's always something over to one side, and there's always a carnival over here, and there's always some kind of fair thing over there, a contest thing, and shows, 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 you know. The Gay Pride uh, Fiesta, I'm glad everybody had a good time. I'm glad that there was only one eyesore, even though I wish there wasn't an eyesore at all. And that was that Jesus loves you. God hates sinners. And Jesus loves you. Uh, doofus with that sign. You know, uh, I'm sorry that there was an eyesore, but I'm glad it was just that eyesore. You know, uh, honestly, I hope to God that all the haters that loaded up in a U-Haul actually tried and actually got cooked. Um... And, embar and completely embarrassed themselves in the process uh, which is why they didn't attack anybody you know, uh, I, you know I hope that teaches them a lesson don't come down here don't come down here to San Antonio with your hate take that bullshit somewhere else you know go back up to Seattle where you came from or wherever it is you know California or whatever you know that hate don't belong down here it's just too damn hot it's just too damn hot uh but yeah, uh, I hope that uh, I'm glad that everything still turned out okay, and uh, I hope the they 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 I hope to God they step up better next year. Um, tell you what, if I win the million dollars, the mega million, it's up to three hundred million dollars. I will put a damn carnival in there for you, okay? <laughs> I'll put a carnival. I'll make a trash. I'll put up more than two, just one stage. Uh, I'll, uh, you know, I'll sign up a bunch of opening acts for you. Okay. And I'll put a whole crap load of security. Every douchebag from, from God hates sinners, but Jesus loves you will be booted out and all the way up to going halfway. I will armed the security. I will arm the security. If I win that mega millions, I will pay for mega armed security to beat the shit and crack and shoot and kill any U-Haul driving fuckers that come into into the big sorry for my language i do apologize i'm thinking i'm just thinking out loud i'm sorry um you know but uh if i don't i i hope to god that uh if i don't win that mega millions uh and, and provide that payment and provide all that cra uh security for you um i hope that next next year you you beef it up a little bit better well not not just beef it up but but you know uh, upgrade upgrade your festival you know, because it was pretty neat. I'll be honest. Tonight, tonight, the last of it is going to be celebrated at Six Flags of San Antonio, a place where there's more than enough security, far more complications to sneak in, um, plenty of surveillance, you know. So celebrating the Gay Pride Month is and closing it off. The finale here at, at the last weekend of the month. With, uh, with with at a at a theme park, I think is uh, I think it's pretty cool, uh, and it should go off without a hitch. You know, cross their fingers, knock on wood. Let's hope that let's hope that it's okay. Um, but I hope that I hope that next year they they step it up, they upgrade a little bit better. It was neat to see it. It's neat to find out that it's going to be celebrated at Six Flags. It's neat to find out that we celebrated it downtown on the Riverwalk, where there was a whole river parade going on. Last night, I'm sure the parade at, uh, at the Gay Pride area was was uh, was cool. Now, granted, it's only a couple of blocks long. It's like three or four blocks, uh, three or four streets uh, off of one main street, you know. So it's two, maybe th the equivalent of three blocks, three city blocks in length, but only on one street, you know. Uh, on one strip of uh, uh, one street, so it's you know it, it's gonna it was a tiny parade, no doubt. But um, honestly, uh, I, I hope that um, I hope that we can 
beef it up a little bit better or not beef it up but uh, you know expand or something just you know maybe move it into the parking lots of the uh, uh, SAC you know San Antonio Community College you know the parts that's not being used you know you know there's a couple of parking lots across the street from the park you know and seeing as how uh, Gay Pride Celebration is on a Saturday and the businesses uh, that that parking lot goes to uh, um, are, are closed on weekends, you know, maybe maybe rent that out. Maybe we get another block down or something, you know. Uh, but because uh, cause like Fiesta Parade down here, we have Fiesta started off with the Battle of the Flowers Parade. Uh, that goes on through the downtown area, you know. To think we can't have something like that a little bit bigger for the Gay Pride Parade, you know, more than just a couple of city blocks, you know, uh, and, and no carnival, you know, and 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 no uh, only one performance, you know, it's just um, so here's hoping, here's hoping, best of luck. I'm glad everything turned out okay. I'm glad that this this uh, weekend. I hope that this weekend, this Sunday, is going to be a, a very nice finale. Um, and I hope that we can all still uh, keep on rooting for the for the uh, the politicians and 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 never forget the politicians that are currently fighting for you know the gay rights, the black rights, um, black people's rights, because this is also the month of Juneteenth. Um, veterans rights because D June 6 was D day and we have a memorial day we have all this uh we have two days where it's uh at least those two where we're commemorating our veterans and the people that actually fought for our freedoms you know we got to keep keep in mind for those politicians that are currently going on right now struggling to get everything that they need as well as uh combating Roe versus Wade um we need to keep voting for those that, that are just opposed to the bull crap that goes to uh, uh, Ill illegalizing abortion, you know, making abortion legal, uh, illegal. So, again, I do apologize for the ranting and, and the uh, skip ups. I got nothing scripted, nothing scripted. Like I know, uh, usually I got something that has me reminding me of this subject, that subject, that subject and stuff. And I got it written on a piece of uh, notebook. I got it written on a notebook and I'm, I'm, you know, keeping an eye on it and staying on track instead of doing all of this rambling that you're hearing me doing today. But I honestly feel I should just speak my mind and set it out there. Um, instead of just this scripted, whatever the hell, uh, that I normally do, uh, today it's babbling, whatever the hell, uh, and it's speaking my mind. It's coming from the heart. It's coming from the mind. It's coming from the soul. And, um, I uh, hope that it, it it makes me more understandable for your eyes. And uh, if you have any kind of comments, remember, I don't have a business phone. This is something that I'm doing on my lunch break. It's uh, it's email a town my town at gmail dot com, all lowercase letters. And if you want to hear more elaborately uh, the stuff that I do have scripted, and I usually do go into full detail, uh, remember this anchor dot. FM forward slash Chris dash dot com. Uh, excuse me, Chris dash comments. Boy, I'm out of it. Technically, it's my morning, but um, anchor dot FM forward slash Chris hyphen comments. It's uh, it's through Spotify, but it's my podcast and it's uh, it's audio only, so you don't have to look at this ugly mug. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. For more elaborate stuff, go there. Um, I'm also here on YouTube for however time I'm not demonetized or offending somebody, so therefore reported on, and I'm I got a strike or I'm grounded for a week or whatever um, or two weeks, you know. And the, and and my beef with that is that the reason why I keep talking about Anchor, my podcast, instead of having y'all rely on on YouTube. Is because they really don't tell me what it is that I did offensively. Or what community guidelines I broke. They just say, review the guidelines, you're on suspension. And that's it. You know? No apologies uh, permitted. Um, so, I don't, I don't really get it. I don't understand it. 
Is it because I'm not paying for an editor or something? I don't know. Um, right now, I don't have it in the budget. So don't get me wrong. I wouldn't mind an editor or a producer or something. But I can't afford that right now. Uh, so, and I, you know, who knows if I can afford it tomorrow, in the tomorrow, you know. Um, that's just, you know, that's just me. So this is it right now. This is the stuff that I got to take. Uh, remember anchor.fm forward slash Chris dash comments. It's through Spotify, you know, take a listen. I go elaborately on a lot of stuff, uh, a lot more in depth and, um, you know, and, and, you know, stay true to what I'm, what I mean on Chris's comments, a show of common sense on common grounds, you know, um, occasionally I'll do a touch of conspiracy, uh, conspiracy theory. And I love doing those. I find those very entertaining. And then uh, a couple of side stuff, you know, uh, a couple of other side comments. Um, like uh, something trivial like the Amber Heard and, and Johnny Depp uh, trial, you know. Uh, I remember commenting on that. And then something about my ride share driving, you know. Um, but yeah, if there's any comments, questions, or shared information, by all means, go to a town my town at gmail.com and uh the a town is supposed to be for american town um but um i thought it was clever to put a town um and then i thought it was easier to just type up by putting them at lowercase level all lowercase so that's the sole reason for a town my town at gmail.com uh, if you got any comments or shared information to share, uh, if you got a podcast of your own, um, email me. Let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and promote you. Let me go ahead and say what you got. Um, but just try to keep it amongst uh, 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 on subjects. Try not to just be this critical piece of shit, bitch. Because that I'm not going to promote. I'm not going to acknowledge at all. I'm not going to tell you any. I'm not going to expose you or give you that publicity at all. Okay. Stick to important issues. Stick to the subjects. Uh, don't just chew me out. Don't say, hey, you're the greatest. Um, or anything like that. Stick uh, stick to the... Don't don't pretty much worry about me. Stick to the subjects. Okay? Uh, and I thank you very much for your time. Uh, I hope you all are staying safe out there. I hope you all are having a good time. Staying cool. Keep, try to keep uh, your fluids. <laughs> And uh, try to stay cool. Uh, we'll see you around. This is Chris. Chris's comments. Signing out.